what can we do with these feathers? We can make different capes, boleros, and now I will explain how we can do it. As an example, I use a video of my work. This cape, dress, and all the accessories, it's all made by me. Step 1. I am using a rectangle shape. The side is 30 cm. This is the length of the cape on the back. Now I measure like this. This is the width of the cape, 120 cm. The cape is tied at the front with ribbons or you can tie in the back. And it will be like in this video. So 30 by 120. I make this base. To do this faster, I find the middle lines. Then I fold the rectangle in help length, lengthwise and widthwise. Without a separate pattern, but on textiles folded in four layers, I round off in this area. A ribbons will be sewn on this section. So I cut the main layer on which I will sew feathers and I also cut the layer of synthetic winterizer insulation and I also cut the third layer, the lining. All these feathers should be stacked like this, very close together. And then you need to sew it all. How to sew these feathers? For example, these are these feathers. All of them are collected on this rope. Here is the rope. And this is the main layer of the cape. This is the cut of the main layer. We sew half the thickness of the rope to the main layer of the cape. We sew with hand stitched in two threads. You don't need to mark anything. Just sew each layer of feathers very close together. Be mindful of seam allowances. And the last layer of feathers should be as close to the allowance as possible. Put a lining and synthetic winterizer over the feathers. Move all the feathers away from the seam allowances. After that, sew the seam along the contours of the cape. But do not forget to insert the ribbons in the planet areas. Also stitching along the contours. Leave a small area not stitched. About 20 cm so that you can turn the cape right side out. And the remaining unsewn section sew by hand with hidden stitches. Step 2. 